Our department of uh, nuclear engineering at Purdue University is uh, among the top 10 schools of nuclear engineering in the United States. CMOXI is a center for material under extreme environments and uh, we do a lot of research in materials under extreme for various applications, fusion, plasma, lithography, industry, high energy physics, biomedical application, etc. Our department here specializes in computer codes and experiments to validate the codes. We have very focused experiments and we have codes that we believe are state of the art that can predict what will happen when the hot plasma interacts with the materials. In our research, we are uh, using our own uh, computer simulation tool. This is Heights package. This multi-physics package for integrated modeling of various processes in plasma and material science. It's a really unique and universal package, well tested and very flexible for extension. We use this package, for example, in design of future fusion energy reactors to make them safer and more efficient. We also use it in design of uh, advanced nanotechnology devices for, manufacture, for the manufacture of uh, next generation computer chips. In terms of developing materials for fusion systems, I work on computing what will happen. We have codes that simulate the interaction of intense plasma with materials. We have state-of-the-art codes and models to predict what will happen. Uh, this is a very tough problem. This is the biggest single engineering their science issue for fusion is the interaction between the plasma and the materials. We work with experiments around the world in the United States here at Purdue, laboratory experiments and tokamak experiments. In our laboratory, we simulate uh, tokamak device in uh, normal and in uh, disrupt the disruptive uh, operation uh, regimes. Simulate whole device. I simulate these instabilities, and I can predict that in that place it, uh, we have very big uh, risk of damage. I am working on uh, understanding the uh, impact of uh, plasma during disruptions on uh, plasma phasing materials and my focus is computational modeling of tungsten that is considered as the best material for ITER Tokamak uh, with the goal to understand how much uh, this mat material could be lost during uh, plasma dis disruptions and how severe is uh, uh, damage of uh, plasma phasing components. On understanding of behavior of uh, plasma phasing materials like tungsten in uh, fusion devices, there are only two groups working on uh, melt layer splashing. This is one located in uh, Germany, Karlsruhe, and uh, another we have just here at Purdue. There are no other groups in the uh, US working on melt layer losses and uh, splashing. In our center, we are basically developing two different nuclear material detectors for Homeland Security. One is called LIPS, it's an acronym for laser-induced breakdown spectroscopy. The other method is laser ablation inductively coupled plasma mass spectrometry. It's a long name and usually it's called LAICPMS. In both methods, what we are doing is we are ablating the target and generating a plasma. If you collect the light and analyze it, we can get a elemental information that's nuclear or otherwise, you know, elemental fingerprint. So we can use that methodology for nuclear fingerprinting. Fusion is a long-term project, as most people know. This is somewhat like cathedral building in the Middle Ages. You worked on it, your son worked on it, your grandson worked on it, etc. So I feel like a, a big part of our program at the university is to train the next generation of, of students. We graduate about 50 bachelor's degree, 10 masters, 5 PhD on average every year. We are proud of, of doing that and we continue to advance 
our uh, knowledge and technology uh, with students that uh, lead the world in the next generation.